Now that we've gotten the settings out of the way, the next thing that we're going to cover is how to actually create a part that we're going to rent uh, to customers. Now, to be clear, parts that we rent, maybe they're plates, maybe they're tables, maybe they're drills, whatever it is that we want to rent that, that don't have a serialized number or a VIN number on them, they are entered into the system as a non-inventory item. Lizzie doesn't do inventory when it comes to rental. So as far as putting those items on your books, on the general ledger, they need to be put in separately from what we're actually setting up here. And it would just be a, a manual GL ad adjustment against a, a particular type of account. But right now we're, we're focusing primarily on creating the item that we're going to rent. So the first step is to go to inventory and we're going to add a new item. So we're just going to select add new item. And as far as the manufacturer of the item goes, for rentals, it's really not that big of a deal because we're not doing any general ledger hits when we add these inventory items or these non-inventory items. So we, what I recommend doing here is just to set up a generic account that we're going to put or a generic manufacturer that we're going to put our items in. But if it's a specific thing, like maybe it's a Husqvarna chainsaw, then it's perfectly okay to pick Husqvarna, pick you know whoever the manufacturer is. But the point is, is you don't have to really worry too much about how all that stuff is breaking down because the accounting's done a little bit different with rental items. So the next thing, we're, we'll, so we'll just pick somebody. So we'll we'll say this is a American Honda. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it an item number. So I'm just going to call this a rental two, and we'll say that this is a shovel it really doesn't matter what it is we're going to tell it the cost we don't really care about because it, this is not something that we're really dealing with at this point point. Um, and then the list price is what we're going to bill this thing out at and again you'll you'll see in a second we're going to actually do some some different things quantity and bins in this particular case isn't going to play a part here the primary thing we want to do is come down here and select this rental option down at the bottom now when we select the rental option, we're going to get some other fields that are available here. One of them is quantity. So let's say that I have 10 shovels that we have available to rent. And then these are the fields that we talked about in the previous video that are here to fill in how we rent shovels out. Well, let's say that we only rent shovels by the day. So all I'm going to do is come over here to the rate for day and I rent a shovel out for $10 a day and then whether or not we have a required deposit and this is just something to help calculate what the deposit is on the rental invoice when it when they come to pick it up. Uh, in this case we'll say that there's not a deposit on the on the shovel. Um, so we, we fill this in. Everything else here really isn't necessary except that we want to make sure, and Lizzie actually does it for you when you select rental, but we want to make sure that the inventory option is not selected. This is not an inventory item, and it is selected as rental. And then fill in what you charge per hour for that particular item, and then down here at the bottom, we're just going to hit the Save button. Now, this creates the, the rental item for us so that now we can find this item on our rental schedule when we get to that point. 